Okay, hello there. Why do I forget the hey there? I've done 1300 videos basically starting with hey. Anyway, let's do that again. Let's do it again. Hey there! Now, today we're going to have a look at this pen, and this pen was lent to me by my friend Mary. This is a Conway Stewart, but it is so complicated. What a minefield. So, Conway Stewart, British company, been around for a while and uh, goes out of business. And then British Bespoke Pens takes over their manufacturing, but then Armando Simoni Club purchases the name Conway Stewart and starts to make pens under that name. So now we have vintage Conway Stewards, modern Conway Stewards, British Bespoke Nibs Conway Stewards, same models, and now we have Armando Simoni Club Conway Stewards. If you're lost, it's not you. This is complicated. In any case, so this is one of the Armando Simoni Club Conway Stewards. Model 100. Blood Orange Spaghetti. Which sounds a bit like a horror movie. But it is a pretty pen. Based on the Model 100 that Conway Stewart uh, had. Years ago I had a Model 100, a, a modern Conway Stewart. Uh, yellow swirl. You can look up that review if you want. There's an index on my on my website, right? To see what the actual commercial would look like. Because in my recollection it was a little bit chubbier. But I haven't held that pen a long time because I sold it years ago. So, anyway. Today we'll look at this pen. I'll cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Anything else? Not really. Let's get started. Oh, thank you, Murray. I knew I was getting something. Thank you for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. Okay, so the Conway Stewart Model 100. Uh, as I said now, made for Armando Simoni Club. Uh, here you have this, pe this pen right next to a Pilot Peril, just for size. It's not the world's biggest pen. It's uh, a nice size, but not, not huge. 18 karat nibs or uh, gold plated steel nibs, fine medium broad, uh, handmade in Europe. Uh, gold, yellow gold trims, clearly Arco, uh, sorry, Art Deco, I say, yeah, yeah, when you say ASC then you say Arco, but I meant Art Deco, Art Deco inspired uh, cartridge converter filled pen. So let's, let's have a look at the, the, the parts. This is a very Conway Stewart type thing, that's also what I remember from my Model 100 uh, clip with a ring and little sort of uh, conical thing on top there. Different material from the rest of the pen. Okay, and you have Conway Stewart with the little diamond-shaped clip. That's also a Conway Stewart thing. And uh, here we have the, uh, the CS logo, which is quite nice, I think. A pretty material. You can see ever so slightly a bit translucent, uh, which is nice. Again, Art Deco pattern. It says Conway Stewart on the center band. It says 100 for the Model 100. And Conway Stewart on the other side. And then the Conway Stewart logo. Clip, sorry, clip, uh, um, clip, well, clip is springy, that's a good reminder. Barrel tapers down. And there's some fascinating stuff going on. So first of all, I nearly, I thought, oh no, I've broken that, but this is actually part of the same material as the cap. So it just stands out a bit. Looks, once you see it, it's one of those things you can't unsee. Anyway, cap unscrews, as I said, not a huge pen, but it's, I mean, it's not, it's not tiny. It's, it's a normal size pen and it, it does post, and it's really quite comfortable. It's a nice number six nib. Uh, this is the gold version, 18 karat gold, again with a very Art Deco pattern on it. It says Conway Stewart, it says 18K, it says 750. Plastic feed, ABS, right? Uh, nice section, small, tapers down, flares out a little bit, but it is really quite comfortable. So I, I thought it looked a bit tiny, but it's it's actually quite quite comfortable. And then there is some fascinating stuff going on on the inside, and that's actually what I kind of wanted to talk about a bit. So there is uh, this converter, which is just a converter, which uh, uh, comes out, right? Threaded converter, 
But did you did you hear that just now? So I thought, what what is this? Because as I was testing it out and writing with it, of course, of course, now it doesn't make any noise. But there was a bit of a rattle. Well, in here is that thing, which covers the converter doesn't do anything when you twist it but if you really push it in you see that now I can actually operate the converter with it so then I thought oh wait this must be something that Leonardo here I have a Leonardo that Leonardo does right stay you have a Leonardo pen uh, which is a cartridge converter right but then at the end of the barrel you have an old-fashioned blind uh, cap which you can take off and then you can operate the, uh, the the turning knob of the converter as if it is a piston filled pen which is kind of a nice nice feature so I thought well then I guess this Conor Stewart has that but for the life of me I cannot remove whoops I cannot remove this part this doesn't come off so then what's the point of having this? Now the only thing I could come up with is that it is a buffer so that this doesn't rattle because sometimes you have a pen where the converter kind of rattles in the barrel but this doesn't rattle so and given that this is a loose part I don't know if this came off I, I haven't dropped it or anything which is a miracle not only um, but I, I it, what, what's the point? It seems to be a thing. The only other thing I could come up with is that it, it is supposed to add weight to the, the barrel, which of course is being acrylic. It's not very heavy, and if you put this in, well then you have a bit more of a balanced weight towards the end. So maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Um, hashtag conspiracy theory. Hashtag tell me <laughs> what your opinion is, because I, I don't really know. Okay, let's have a look at this pen. So here we have the Conway Stewart model 100. The nib, I can't find a nib grade anywhere. I'm probably overlooking it but I simply can't find it. I want to say something in the medium range because it's definitely not particularly fine. You can get them in fine, medium, broad. You can get them with gold or, or gold-plated steel. This is a solid gold nib. And here is one thing I will say. This is a beautiful writer. Very nice, very pleasant, uh, very smooth. Doesn't really seem to hard start. It, it really loves to write, and that is really nice. Nice, good, well-tuned nib, if anything, on the wet side of things. Line variation. Well, it's not a flex nib. It does have a bit of springiness to it. Again, it's not a flex nib, so be incredibly careful if you do this. But you could add a little bit of character to your writing, like this. Reverse writing. It's possible. You hear there's a bit of a noise, but it writes and it's not super scratchy. Some nibs, when you turn them upside down, become very scratchy. This is not one of them. And you do get a line that seems to be a little finer, although I don't see a whole lot of difference between this and that. But uh, anyway, so it is possible. Well, there's a little bit of a difference. Yeah. Okay, I can't tell you the ink because the ink was in it as I borrowed the pen, so I just don't know. I um, think we should talk about what I like and what I do not like about this pen. Let's do it. So let's talk about the Conway Stewart Model 100 Blood Orange Spaghetti. There are other finishes, by the way, and uh, this is just one of them. What do I like about it? I think there is a lot to like. First of all, I love the way this nib writes. It's a very, very pleasant nib. 18 karat gold, very nice. The price for that would be 475 US. The price for a gold-plated steel nib would be 275 US. So you can actually pick up this pen 
relatively affordable price. I'm not saying it's inexpensive, I'm just saying relatively affordable with a steel nib. Very classy design. It's, it is very classy. Uh, just a bit of a touch of Art Deco on the center band, for example, makes for a very nice looking pen in my mind. Nice materials. I like all of that. It is a bit pricey. $475 for a gold nib, cartridge converter, acrylic pen. As far as I can tell, not limited. I don't see any numbering or anything on it, but I could be wrong about that, but that's, that's I, I couldn't really... I didn't see anything online to suggest that it was limited. Um, I think it's, it's fairly pricey. That's just my, my, my biggest issue with the pen. Having said that, again, very pretty, beautiful writer. So it, 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 <laughs> it could be a lot worse. If this was Arco, it would probably be $1,500. So there is that. Just something to think about, right? And at least they offer the steel option, so you have a more affordable option if that is what you're looking for. That's really all I have to say about this pen. Murray, very, uh, very kind thank you for lending me the pen. I appreciate it. I hope this was useful. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.